Hi. Uh, in this video of talent series, we're going to talk about the preparation. So we, in the previous video, we uploaded this data set, uh, the customer US. So it has this score and we can see that. Now we can create the preparation. So the idea here is that we can see, you know, there is a score and there is some invalid and incomplete values. So how we can uh, tackle with that. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to click here on this preparation. Uh, we can also click on this one and then you can, you know, within the sample, you can do that. So I'm going to add a preparation. What preparation does is it's give us some insight and, and give us some suggestions uh, how to handle that. So just to get familiarized with the environment. So this is our sample data set. Uh, on the left hand side in a while, we will start seeing the recipe that the steps that we do. And this is a sample data set. And it allows us to filter on various things. And on the right hand side, uh, we can see different operations that we can add. So it, there are some suggestions. These are pre-built one. I think they are around 100. And then on the lower side, which our column by to select. For example, if I select this text, uh, city. So it shows me, you know, what kind of values I have. And the patterns I have here. And then it also shows me uh, some advance if that is available. And as an example, if I select states, so it recognize it as, you know, geographic field. So it also shows me a geographic side of that as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with city. So at the moment, I can see, you know, there is no city here. Uh, I can see uh, only I can see is um, it's not categorized as city. The reason for that is there is no semantic type. We can add our own semantic type. For that, view my other video. I'm going to share that in a while. Uh, I think if it's not there at the moment, it will be shared in a while. You can see that how you can uh, add a new uh, semantic type. So semantic types are not like data types, but not the data types like integer, etc. They are like type of the data, like it's a city or it's a US code or state code or it's a date uh, or it's a phone number or it is a uh, last name, first name, things like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this is in all in upper letter. So as soon as I click that, it's going to give me some suggestions The change it to a title case. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to a title case. Uh, the next we have is US states. So I can see that, you know, it's showing me some red. So this is the real, uh, this is where we'll get the real value. If I click on that and say, okay, filter these invalid rows. So I can see three there's three of these records and they are related to DC. So uh, DC is not a proper state. So uh, that's why it's showing me in red. But let's say in case of our data, we recognize it as a state because uh, they, it is in, uh, it is in Washington is in no state. So what I'm going to do, I can do is I can add uh, this into my data so that it, uh, it recognizes that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to semantic type. So I'm going to go to data, uh, data inventory and I'm going to go to semantic types. By the way, the things we have done so far, they are saved automatically as soon as you move. So I don't need to press anything. So I'm going to say US states code. And what I'm going to do is I can add a new value. So this is how you can add a new values. We can add new rows, uh, new totally new things as well. I'm going to have a complete tutorial. Then. I say, okay, you know, DC should be a, you know, I uh, think so and I can say save and publish and it has been added. Now if I go back to my data preparation that I was just doing and I click on this one that I just I was just working on should update it might take sometimes it can take a little time uh, to get that uh, into effect. So for now I think we are good. So this has automatically resolved this issue. Now there is nothing. Uh, if I try to filter it out, the DC still exists, but it's not showing us anymore in the invalid values. Now we have a zip code. So there are some 262 invalid values. That's a huge number of them. Uh, the reason for that is if I can, you know, filter them, the zip code is supposed to be a uh, five number, but I can see, you know, there is these numbers. These are like, you know, four digit. So the reason is it's because of the zero, uh, it's treating that as a uh, number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an interesting thing here. I'm going to call it 
first I'm gonna filter it on the invalid rows and then I'm gonna use a thing called magic fill here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if it is through your nine then my output should be zero to eight zero nine okay and if my input is two eight four zero my eight output should be two eight four zero five six four eight then my output should be five zero five six four eight and so on so i'm gonna add few others here i'm trying to give it some inputs some ideas that okay if number is like this then do it like this and in it will try to recognize a pattern out of what i'm doing and i'm gonna click on preview and let's see how it does so you see it has added zeros so i'm gonna say okay do that and just don't create a new column just replace them that is fine this is an interesting one and then we have some email addresses issue sometimes the email addresses are valid and sometimes they are empty so the email address if it is not valid email address uh, it might need a manual intervention so we will cover that later uh, that how we can do the manual for now I'm gonna leave it as is uh, and then we have this text it is a, a lot of this values are empty line of business a lot of data is not there so I should not be having this column so I'm gonna delete this column anyways and we also have a phone number then the next one and it has recognized a US phone number but one of the number is invalid so let's see what this invalid number is and I can see it start with one which is make sense that a number in US should not start with one so I'm gonna change it to nine uh, it must be a mistake so I'm gonna change it to nine okay so it's resolved now so the next thing uh, again what we're gonna do is with the phone number so as soon as I see that you know it's showing me some suggestions again here so it's saying it's a phone number so format is as a phone number and I'm gonna go for American national standard I'm gonna say submit and the number is formatted as such and the next thing because this is a personally identifiable information and this is a sensitive information so I'm gonna um, obscure this data so I can mask this data there are different ways uh, either I can do hashing or I can do uh, data masking simple one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this one and in this one I'm gonna say um, just replace uh, keep the first characters first few characters and first uh, and characters I think yeah, this is key first and digits so keep the first five digits so just look uh, at this number while I'm doing that I'm gonna say okay you know keep these five and then I'm gonna say preview I'm not gonna submit and you see the first numbers are exactly same but the later numbers are changed uh, so this can be a good way to uh, keep the sum of the codes as is and then uh, randomize some of the functions there are other a lot of other functions available that you can use and the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna say submit so this is my debt this is my data now this data is ready what to do with it? so how we can use this data this data will still be not be available in our data sets so what we need to uh, in order to make that available for the data sets we need to run this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a new data set for this one and again we need to define those values so I'm gonna say customer US clean this is a clean data and I'm gonna choose the format CSV and I'm gonna name that it customer so this is I'm this is not actually coming from the any file but it's coming from I'm creating a template which is we're gonna use to add the data and the next thing is we're gonna add some certain settings what are the parameters are there I'm gonna select this engine I'm gonna say hit run and it's gonna start running 
it's gonna take a little while maybe around uh, 30 to 40 seconds so so the data is here now and if i click on the us this clean data so i can see some of the scores so i can see the validity has improved and the completeness has also improved okay and there are the scores which are kind of a bit low but that we are not worried about that what we can further what we can do is to improve this data sets uh, we will cover in the next topic